What'd say? He's up there. Shall we do it? <laughs> this is exactly why all of us got into free skiing in the very first place. It's perfect. No way! No way, bro! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, crew, welcome. This is episode 23. I said it was episode 23 last time, but it wasn't. Now it's the real episode 23. As you saw last time, we are here in Sunset Park in Andorra. I couldn't be more stoked that the guys are putting on an event like this because this is so real deal what free skiing is about. Does that make sense? It's so exactly right. You know, this is us out here shredding with our friends. This entire little area is entirely dedicated to guys just like us, trading rounds, shredding the jumps all day long. We're here for just a few hours before it's open to the public so we can rattle off some games. It's, uh, this is just brilliant. So thank you so much to the boys at Sush for making this happen. This is episode 23 of Woodsy's World. Hope you enjoy it. We're gonna give you an insight into exactly what goes into everything behind the scenes at Slush Cup, Gran Valera. Oh my god! <laughs> it's too easy. I actually thought you could see me. Oh wait! It's out there. I was like, what? It's not out there. <laughs> Slush Cup Grand Valera 2019. Awesome to be here. This is HQ. The the shredders are all staying in the hotel up there. Always oh, time special case is here, and he's looking after. Got a message last night. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. <laughs> already picked on you twice. I got a message from Einstein last night. And look. Important, 3.12 a.m. You're awake, got some hair to get rid of. <laughs> Let's go! Yes. <laughs> I was thinking, I think I would, I think I want to go straight for the, just, the, you know? Straight shave. Straight shave. Yeah. No middle mohawk. I, I, I understand exactly what you're saying, because I know that's where you want to be in your future. However, <laughs> you need the mohawk. Sticking up with the sunnies, you need that shot in your resume, in your ski V, your lifelong like Oystein Broughton nurse. <laughs> this may be the only time you can get that shot. Yeah, Oystein, are you ready, mate? Yes, let's do it. Rock and roller coaster. D Wildcat. There's no turning back now. Nice. But you know what? You know what might be sick? Give that a little shake and just feel. Oh my God, your mohawk's gonna look insane. Oh, you so are gonna. Oh, look so oh, 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 I'm stoked. I did it. I don't. I know. am so I, stoked. I haven't regretted like since we started, so that's nice. We have. I. There is no way of telling you how incredible this day has gone so far. It's only noon, and I woke up at 11, and this day is maybe my favorite day that's ever happened ever, Danny. Turn out good. What do you think? <laughs> Mate, give us one of those. Look up there. And do one over here. Yo, we need to get hairspray on the way to the hill so we can make it stay there. Yeah. Like while you ski, because you need a backflip mute and some yeah. Ellie's yeah. iron crosses oh and stuff. Oh my god, you're gonna have the
massive part of why we all love doing this is having everybody together and uh, sort of relaxed environment and everything and it just doesn't get more that than this you know it's just perfect Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that's the crew it's a pretty amazing crew to be part of really isn't it it's quite a yeah I'm happy to be here it's a fun thing. Oh, it's a pain here. Yeah, Hunter sucks. <laughs> but he's ripped the shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely an honor to be here. It's wonderful. No. We hope we can give you a good. There's no more! <laughs> a good behind the scenes insight into what goes on at the Slush Cup Gran Valera. Thanks for tuning in. Everyone's getting ready to go skiing. We can shred here a lot earlier than normal. Usually, this park's only open from sometime late afternoon until well past sunset so it's pretty amazing to be here and there's no one else here but us so i think we're taking full advantage of that i just put on the lens it curved too it was out there and it came back on oh i just took a shot oh right in the who threw that yeah luckily i got baggy pants luckily he's got a maui shoe shack <laughs> Those two. What do Those they do? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what they do. You're covered in my... <laughs> it's all up your arms, mate. Oh yeah, it's in my hair, it's worse. <laughs> you know, it's been a very long time since I've done anything except just ski and try and be the best that I can be for the competition. So, it's actually wonderful to have the little break that I just had last week. Slush, these boys, I couldn't respect them more for everything that they're doing, and it's uh, it's wonderful to be a part of it, you know, to come here, get back into skiing, do a bit of refing, do a bit of filming, with the infamous slush rigs that keep getting better every single year, is actually very refreshing, so I'm, I'm loving it, especially because it's cooking hot. This is what we do when the kids are warming up. We sleep. We nap in the sun. Probably my average amount of sleep is between three to four hours at Slush Cup, yes. And then I'll maybe nap, like I just nap for like 20 minutes. I'll probably nap for like maybe an hour in total during the day. And then I just, yeah, drink a lot of coffee, hang with the boys, film games, get stoked. The adrenaline of watching these kids play the games is what kind of keeps me awake. If I can remember to eat food, then I can keep going. I'd say what keeps me awake at 3 a.m. when I'm editing is knowing everyone else is asleep and I can finally focus on my computer. <laughs> All right, it has been a fantastic time here at Slush Cup Gran Valera. Honestly, I cannot tell you enough how amazing it is every single night at a serious hair past freckle after the moon's gone. I mean, the sun's gone in. Um, we're just exhausted from so much skiing. It's amazing, yeah. You, you just lap in this park for all it's worth all day long. It's incredible. And now it's time for us to get on our way. So thank you so much for joining us and uh, bye. Just first of all, thank the Slash crew to bring the competition again. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. So I want to thank the Shapers. Yeah. Yeah. It's, today it's um, Fede's birthday. Yeah. So, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. When got his second pudding. Shut up, you yeah. did. Yeah. You made it, boy. You made it, baby. Bought some cookies at the gas station. <laughs> we can't have an episode without talking about pudding. It's a thing. We just just need chocolate. Like I just need chocolate. I need the Freya. Chocolate with Kvik lunch in it from Norway or a packet of Smash. That's all I need. Oh, no way. Uh, I was corking and then I didn't uncork before I hit the ground. That'll, that's your, that'll that's your get problem. You. That'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Miles. Thank Mark's got you back. Even with my heels, Tyson. 
in the morning, like you forgot. <laughs> Johan, I'm probably beat Johan in my heels. Back to back. It's hard to know where Johan ends and the hat begins, you know? Yeah. I'm winning. Really poofy hair, man. How much heel you got on your shoe? Looking good. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> I got pretty much <laughs> <laughs> I think we're the same. <laughs> oh, he's going to be winning. My dollar. So close. It's so dude. close. Dude, what's your shoe situation? It's like a big old <laughs> fucking dog. I got a small, like, stage we can do without shoes then. Take your shoes off. <laughs> Johan, take your this shoes off. This is serious now. I'm saying... Thank you guys. Johan, Jesper Woodsy. Uh, you're well told. Fucking midgets. I think that's Jesper over here, Jesper. What a week of bullshit call. <laughs> Another bullshit call. Welcome <laughs> to Slush, baby! <laughs> this is bad footage. We're just talking about little people. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs>